Hey guys, welcome to HS Code Hub. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can retrieve Salesforce profile complete metadata via VS Code. All right, so let me show you the use case. It is obvious, suppose you have made some changes to an org's profile and some profiles in the org and now you want to move those profile changes from that org to another org and you want to make sure you are utilizing your time and you are deploying or moving the changes in the quickest time possible. In that scenario, we can utilize the VS Code. So for our prerequisite, we need to have a Salesforce ready VS Code. What I mean by that, I mean that you can see here, I have installed all the extensions of Salesforce, also the CLI. I assume you know what I meant. So yeah, you got to have that. And after that, there are two steps to make sure all are good. You have to update all the extensions and you have to update the Salesforce CLI. Okay, so if, we, if I go to the extensions, you can see there, there are no options to update because I have updated all of them. Here you can see, if there an option pops up saying update, then you should do that. And the other thing, we have to run SFDX update. So here you can see that no such file or directory because I am already on the latest version of the Salesforce CLI, which is 7.201 point blah, blah, blah. So this is the two prerequisite steps you should do. Now let's move on to the slide. And after that, we have to install Salesforce source read plugin. All right. So let me show how we can do that. We will be just copying this copying this command if you want to know more about this plugin you can just google and find out so i won't be going deep on that we have to paste it here command b hit enter it's loading up let's wait a bit and we have to write y and hit enter it is installing the plugin It's taking some time so why are we actually installing it i will be explaining that in a bit let us install the plugin first okay let it install so here you can see that i have a profile admin right so you may ask like we can just right click right click and retrieve from the org the metadata from the org the changes from the org so let me try it okay i will hit right click and hit the retrieve button for retrieving the metadata here you can see i have retrieved the profile metadata but here is user permissions user permissions and i don't see anything else that means we actually couldn't retrieve the all of the metadata for that particular profile if i go back to the slide i showed you how to retrieve the Salesforce complete metadata. That's the tricky part. We have to actually uh, have to retrieve the complete metadata, not only the user permissions. So that means if I use the Salesforce SFDX feature, like the retrieve source from org for profiles, that won't be retrieving all the metadata. For that reason, we had to first install this one, the SFDX source read plugin. So you can see this is successfully installed. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to my browser and retrieve the profile. So I have to run this command, okay? Command copy. And uh, let me explain what it means. This, is, this should be same for every component. And in here I say the component type is profile, colon, and the name of the profile, all right? So you can put any name, like whichever profile you want to retrieve from the org, just put the name on there and you should be good. So now I will be copying it, command C, going back to the VS code, command B, before I press enter, I'm gonna show you one, one more time, you can see here is 737 lines in the profile. If I now retrieve, it should be increased. 
that means all the metadata for that particular profile should be retrieved see there's a huge change like from 737 to we have like 9000 so we that worked perfectly right so here you can see user permission also the field level securities tab visibilities everything should be there right you can see also the layout assignment the record type assignment all should be there field permissions so this is what we wanted so i think uh, our goal is achieved so hope hope you understood what i tried to say you so our if i want to summary the whole process we have to just install a new plugin and using that plugin we have to run this command and it will retrieve our desired profile metadata in this way what we can do we can save a lot of time for the deployment for the configuration related changes on the profile all right guys so that was all for today and if you have any questions or any suggestions or any confusions you can just write in the comment section and don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you see you guys